This episode of Techno Buffalo is powered by Shutterstock.com. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is a very special episode. We are filming at CES 2013. This episode, though, we are answering one question and one question only. What's it like for Techno Buffalo to cover a big show like CES? All right, so what's it like to cover a big show like CES? Aaron Baker. So first of all, you're never gonna get any sleep throughout the week. So be prepared for that because I mean, from morning to evening, it's, you know, six in the morning till 11 or 12 at night when it comes to events, when it comes to, you know, various meetings, various, just walking the floor. I mean, really, it's, it's a long day and it's a long couple of days as you're here for a trade show like a CES or a CTIA. So what about you? What do you think? Yeah. So a lot of the trade show stuff doesn't actually happen on the trade show floor. There's a lot of booth here and stuff. Yeah. There are events and press events that go on days before. People ask why we had a winner of our contest come out two days before the show. That's when all the press events are going on. I think Roy Choi actually said they shouldn't call them press conferences. You can't ask questions. They're more like press lectures. Well, and also, you know, with Vegas, it's like they're all in different hotels, too. So it's not just the LVCC, the convention center. It's, you know, in the Palms and in the Venetian and in Excalibur and in Luxor. And so you're constantly going up and down the Strip. So half the time is trying to find a good cab. Or not, well, I, I shouldn't say there aren't bad cabs in Vegas. I guess they're all good. Do you do but, interviews, like, before you get in the paper against the cab? Like, I, sometimes I'm like, how's it going? You know, what do you think of this cab? Is it good? Is it bad? Tell me about your rider. I'm just saying, you know, I, you never know what happens. Like, this is Vegas. Some of the cab drivers, I've been, I've been covering this for four years. There's some weird cab drivers in Vegas. So no offense to any cab drivers out there that are watching. There's something called the CES play going around where there's all kinds of flu outbreaks. Yeah, we're trying not to get it. So that's, you know, we, we've taken our vitamins. We hand sanitized. We've done quite a few things. We tried to get at least a little bit more sleep. And by a little bit more, I mean, you know, four to five hours as opposed to two to three, at least for me. And we actually lost our editor-in-chief, Sean On. He came down with the flu, 102 fever, had to go to the hospital. So it's a real thing. We're trying to just stay healthy. Unfortunately, I poisoned his drinks, so he's going to get sick when we get back, but most of us are going to be perfectly fine. So to cover the show, it's a lot of walking around. It's a lot of going to interviews, going to press. The actual time we get to just wander and walk around is really very minimal. You know, maybe one or two hours each day if we're lucky. But what I will say is it's good because we've got a team here this year. And so, I mean, a ton of different people can cover a bunch of different things. So, I mean, me, for example, I had never seen the show before for more than two hours up until this year. And so being able to kind of go around and see cool stuff, film some phones for the site, do stuff like that was really cool. We do. We have a team of nine here, actually, including our contest winner, David Taylor. So, Aaron, what's it like for you now with Techno Buffalo? When you film a video, what's your what's your process, and how does that video go from you filming to live? Yeah, so what's nice, again, back to the team aspect of everybody being here, we've got John Q doing some great video editing work. We've got a great team writing up posts, so I can go out and focus on you know doing video content and bring it back and say, hey, can you edit this? Can you work on a written piece? And therefore, we can get more videos for you. So that's super exciting, you know, and I think same way for you as well. Like, it's just nice to have a team, kind of an assembly line, if you will, of just different people doing great things for the site. You get awesome videos, we get a workout. You know, I mean, it's like the best of all the worlds here. We're like, we had a pretty good week, all of a sudden done. Come back from CES, diesel style. So why don't we show you guys just a real quick look at what it was like inside a Techno Buffalo office. So welcome to Room 15, also known as Techno Buffalo Headquarters. Let's go ahead, see what goes on behind the scenes. Some folks are still out and about. Majority of the guys are still kicking around in the office. So this is where many pounds of French fries and chicken fingers and all kinds of stuff were consumed. It's also where all the writing and all the editing happened. All of, almost every piece of content that you saw that wasn't done at a press lecture was done back here. So let's take a look at some of the guys and ask them a few questions. Let's start here with the man who's responsible for all the video, all the awesome work that makes both of us look good. You know him, you love him. It's John Quatch, it's Waffle John, it's JQ, it's the John that matters. John Quatch, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> how many videos have you edited in the past 24 hours? Past 24, I'm 27, 20, 20? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anymore. So like about 30-ish videos. So can we take a look at John's keyboard? Because we've actually been talking about this for quite a while. There actually, you can, there are letters on there, you just cannot see them. And then you're doing all your editing using what software? Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Take a JQ. The tech writing hipster, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Todd Hazelton. Todd, how are you? In the blue shoes. How are you feeling? Last day of CES, how are you holding up? Good. We're holding up, uh, what do I have? Caffeine here, 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 and here. For us to keep it safe. Don't they say always practice safe writing? So over the past four days, how many posts have you, would you say you've written? Three or four, I would say three or four long posts. Hundred, three or four hundred. 
<laughs> how, how are you holding up? Are you feeling feeling strong? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, yeah. Got my Snickers bar in me now. I'm going to eat lunch in a little bit and uh, get back to writing for you guys. <laughs> it's been so many long days. So let me turn to the man on my right, Mr. Aaron Baker. Aaron, how many videos have you personally filmed at your first Techno Buffalo official show? Four times eight. 32, I don't even know. I just shot a bunch of videos and brought them back to John. Like anything I could find on the floor. I'm like, this is beautiful carpet. Uh, take a look at this. This is powered by Android 4.0. This is powered by, you know, 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. What's been the favorite thing that you've seen at the show? <sighs> Either Project Shield, which actually I didn't film, or the 4K TVs, which also I probably didn't film. Uh, it was the, those are cool. The Xperia Z was very cool as well. Wait, the Z actually won one of our best in show awards. So let's go right down here to our managing editor. Hey, Rochoy. Hi. Your, your first CES and your first show with Techno Buffalo. It's exciting. I'm running the show right now. Sean, Sean's out sick. I hope he feels better, but, you know, we're, we're doing, yeah. Roy's the man in charge. So what's your experience been at your very first CES? Um, it's coordinated confusion or coordinated chaos. How about that? So, yeah, it's a lot of busyness, a lot of work. We're just running around, doing live blogs, doing posts, um, doing op-eds. And uh, now we're just getting stuff up. Obviously, you guys are doing videos. All right, let's continue our tour in the back. The man who's written arguably first or second in the most posts we've got here, Mr. Brandon Russell. Brandon, how are you? Hi, John. How's it going? It's good, Brandon. How has your first CES been? Thanks, guys. I'm doing great. Have you enjoyed the writing? What have you liked the most that you've seen here? Uh, Ralph and I saw some nice people handing out flyers and I like the Project Shield. Tom and I saw a lot yesterday. Saw BlackBerry 10. Ralph did a good job. Thanks. Both teams played hard. <laughs> <laughs> Doing great, guys. Both teams played hard. Both teams played very well. The Lakers did not win for the fifth time, I think. Hello? Do you want to get it like, like on the side of my face? No. Okay, there we go. Here, I'll kill the three. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm going to hand the microphone off to Aaron Baker to do our final interview with the man behind the camera right now. I'm going to take the camera from him, and we're going to talk to Mr. Ralph Lorenis. Let's do it. Hey, Ralph. How's it going? I can hear you through here. It's going through there, back to there. That's like magic. I know, right? That's like magic. Tell it's me about your show. On this it's side. weird being a producer and, like, the guy that's being interviewed. I know. It's really weird knowing that the whole internet's in that little hole. Literally, the whole internet is in that little hole. That's a quotable <laughs> quote from CES. <laughs> So tell me, what's your favorite thing you've seen? Um, Project Shield, hands down. I thought you were going to say John Rettinger. I was going to say something funny, but... And people are throwing paper at us right now. This is your first CES, right? First time, yeah. First, so are you... first show, but first CES. The first CES. How do you feel? Like, coming into the end of the show, do you feel energized? Are you exhausted? Do you have the flu? Are you exhausted, okay? Exhausted, uh, hurt back. You know, that back... That, all that camera gear is really heavy, so carrying all of that... You know, for 12 hours a day, it really drains your back. Wah, 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 wah. I'm so sorry. I know it's been rough, but let me hear. Let me massage it out for you. Let me massage it out for you. First thought. Uh, just one thought, actually. Dance party. <laughs> You're a mad dancer, and so is Brandon. I don't know if you saw this. But can you do it again? Uh, well, let me hear. Take the microphone. Let me teach you a little dance move. I'll reach for the sky. So okay. do a little bit of this. When in doubt, pull the, pull the pizza out. Pull it down. And then you want to shuffle the dice. So if you can do a little bit of both, like bring it down. But you want to like lift the leg as you're doing it, as I don't, as I fall over all of our cables that we have for production. All the ladies or guys or whoever over to you. Try it out there, see what happens. Booth babes, you never know. It can get crazy. This one I like to call the bus driver. Oh wow, sprinkler. Now you gotta get like sprinkler, but then the washing machine, right? Left, break it down. Turn to the left, go round and round. Right. So let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Shutterstock.com. Shutterstock.com is the place to go when looking for stock photos, vectors, illustrations, and video clips. You can sign up for large image packs, monthly subscriptions, or just grab a single image for the blog or for a mock-up. They even offer enhanced license access in case you want to print an image out or get it screened on for free. Shutterstock.com makes it easy to curate your own galleries to make searching easier, and you can download any image in any size for all one price. No nickel and diming for high-res stuff. Head to Shutterstock.com or install their iPad app to get started. No credit card needed. When you find the images you want, use the offer code TECHNO1 to get 30% off of any package. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes look at what goes on at CES. For now, I'm John Rettinger. And I'm Aaron Baker. 
We'll see you guys next video. We're live? We're live? We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live.